Today we're going to be fitting the recently remapped TCU to the XSR. Hey guys, Balamoto here, and uh, today we're going to be fitting a new ECU, well, we're going to be fitting the recently remapped ECU to the XSR. So, here it is. So, we've got the ECU itself, which has been remapped by Wiz Performance, and we've uh, got an OBD2 reader to clear the fault codes from removing the ECU. So I'll just take you through step by step, putting it on and clearing the codes, and then I'll take it out for a little test drive. So the ECU is one of the easiest bits to get to on this bike. It's located just underneath this side cover, which you can get to with the uh, tools on the bike. Here we go. Okay, so it's just these three screws here. So you can see where the ECU was, right here, and, uh, and this is the plug that connects the ECU to the bike, obviously, so Okay, so on the uh, XSR, just slots in using these two pins here I think on the uh, on the MT07 it has a loop that collects over. So what we'll do is just slide the ECU onto these pegs. Like that. And then simply, he says, should have got that plug in place before. On it goes until it clicks. Okay. And that's the ECU reinstalled, simple as that. So I'll just put the side cover back on and then we'll fire it up and see, uh, see what kind of fault codes we've got. So I believe this is the uh, port to be able to uh, scan the fault codes. There it is. So first, let's fire it up. Well, switch the ignition on. See what we've got. Okay, so on it goes, and yet we've got the uh, fault code there. Let's see if that stays on when we switch it on. Yep, sure enough, the engine management light is remaining on. Okay, so let's switch it off. A bit dusty. <laughs> okay, so let's plug in our fault code reader and that should fire that up. Hope you can see in this light. Okay, so now what we do is switch the ignition on. Oop. When we set the ignition on, okay, and hit enter. 
Okay, codes found six, that's from the remap. So we go down to erase codes. Are you sure? Yes. Engine failure turnkey on with engine off. So I unplugged it and I've tested it and uh, it seems like the engine management light has gone off so I'm not sure whether it has actually cleared the codes and just given me an error afterwards. So we'll see. Okay. So let's switch it on. Okay, and now let's enter the setup. So codes found zero. So it did clear the codes when I was clicking the clear codes button. Um, and it was giving an error saying it should have been on in the uh, on position with the engine off, which it was, and so it seems like it's cleared the code, so we're all good. So we can exit that, yes. Now we can switch off the ignition. And now we can unplug the code reader. Okay. So there it is, and now I'll just show you again just uh, cover this sort of guy back up. So, like that. And slide that back on there. Okay, let's just make sure that cable isn't going to pop out. Alright. So we're going to pop the seat back on. Try this. So as you can see now, the engine management light is off and everything looks good. And there we have it, simple as that. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope this, uh, this will help some of you out if you're thinking of uh, flashing the ECU next to uh, take it for a test ride.